Alrighty, guys. It is Friday the 10th of June. We'll be tackling Ceramic Terrace by Sophie. Or Sophie Ice, whatever the name, whatever the name is. Looks like a dirt map. Maybe there's ice in it. Sophie Ice is known to make ice maps. We'll see. See how it goes. But at least it is a dirt map. One of those thin dirt maps. It's like uh, one of them old style. I say old style because like this track piece set was like all the rage back in the early days of Trackmania. You made a dirt track back back in the day. It was like a ninety percent chance it was was using this block set. I wasn't a fan of how often it happened, but I'm not going to say that I didn't like it. You can make some very interesting maps using this block set. And this is probably a... a reprise of an old... Of an old style at least figure it out. Okay. Okay, I'm just like eating gears really quick. It'll jump into this. It's cool. Oh god, and then we have widened for a little bit. And we continue around. Up the hill, we gotta be close to the finish. Another one of these. Into the finish, okay. Seems simple enough. We just gotta kinda refine it. Get a run where I'm not crashing. Not worry about how it said top five world there. I'm not a god gamer. I just am playing really early in the day. I don't understand necessarily how to do that without getting air, causing a gear problem. Ooh, that was bad. I touched, but oh boy, there's some tricky gears. And, and the gears are going to be a problem if you get one bad one until you can find somewhere to get a good one. I need to do some brake tapping? I don't know. I'll find out. Gears are good now because I've managed to make the gears good. Nice. Another improvement. Not a gold yet because I'm still... I'm literally still... Getting... Touching walls and getting bad gears. I don't understand that. I think once I get a clean run, even if there's bad gears, I think I'm gonna watch the DPS just to see where the gears happen and how they're managed in the DPS. I don't wanna lose the gear, but I don't wanna have all that work that I put into changing the gear go for not. Once I can manage those first years, it seems to be pretty good. I have to maybe break there. So I have no idea how the gears work out on this section, but they're probably just low. As all the other ones were. If don't break tap there, it's probably bad. It's a little bit of an improvement, but it wasn't great. Top one world, let's go, I have the world record. <laughs> it's not true. I just find it funny. Ah, that gear. I mean, now that I have it, though, I can just do what I can to not lose it. 
almost lost it there, but it's fine. I got it. I think I need to just be earlier on that turn. I may not need the break or do anything for it, but I probably just need to be earlier on it. Okay. Nice, nice. There's actually a gold. Let's see if... Oh, there we go. My world record is gone, and now I'm not... Now I'm top 300 in the world. Okay. I think what we want to do is delay getting a gear up for as long as possible until we can do it on this checkpoint. And if we can't do it on the checkpoint, here. Okay. Let's see if I can do that. it again. Maybe there's some wiggling that needs to be done. To, like, force a gear earlier, but I don't see anywhere where that's going to particularly help. Definitely like the old style. Maybe not like the I don't know, the scenery doesn't seem... It's been a while since I've played one of those old-style maps where every track used this thin dirt. But... It still seems like normal... Seems like normal scenery. Just using these thin dirt track pieces that at one point everybody was using. Which makes me think... I don't want to get... kind of want to download these... I kind of want to download these. I just took another screenshot. Um, thin dirt track pieces. And then maybe I'll convert them to grass. If you use grass, and then I could make like a old style inspired grass map on these thin, what would be grass track pieces. Be a lot harder, I feel, but it'd be a cool concept. You know, the, the gear gives me so much anxiety going up that hill. I don't think I'm ever likely to hit it because I'm going uphill, but the gear is giving me anxiety. Here we go again, more gear anxiety. Okay, I got the gear pretty well, now I'll just keep it. this jump, I'm just going to hold right a lot earlier than I would, or I'm just going to keep holding right. Oh my god. Okay, maybe there is some sort of slowdown there. Watch the GPS after I get a run with it, just to see. Really easy to hit into that, like, dip down in the wall there really easy to run into it. Uh, okay. The tiny bit of air is sometimes really bad. Don't get here. I'm wondering if the like tiny bits of air on some of these sections is like the intended route or if there's a way to not get air. Seems like it's always gonna happen. And then I think I hit the wall there. No, all right, we're good. Here. Oh my god, I got the gear and then I slowed down. I don't know if it was a, didn't sound like a bad gear, but I did definitely like not have the speed that I wanted. That's a very well changed gear. Got 
very close to the outside, to the inside there. Okay, we're gonna break at this point. Maybe I didn't even need to break. I had a good line. And jump it in. Cool, that was actually a good time. My rank actually went down. Surprising. <laughs> now I'm watching the GPS, like I said I would, otherwise I'm gonna keep putting it off and not do the GPS, so. No slide, okay. 47.1. Okay, this is way faster. Where's the gear? Down the hill, okay. I'll make a note. And then, how did the jumps work? Just so I know. Okay, what's this? Just, okay, no break, just a well done. A wiggle. Okay, I see, I see. I can do the nose slide. Can I do the little... There's like a little cut over the corner here. Yeah, okay. I see now. Didn't get the gear down the hill, but I kind of have to have like really good speed to get that gear. understand how to do that. Maybe not amazing, but still a good time. 48.3. Point six improved. Here's top two North America. Yep, yep. Definitely, definitely. I don't have, like, a great no-steer. That's a pretty good no-steer. Oh man, that was really good. Okay, we gotta get this little cut. You can do it better than that. We need to go from outside to inside on that section. Okay, let's do that better. Cut that corner a lot and it just worked. Oh, I got the gear. I got the gear on the uphill. That's not something I expected. Oh, I crashed. Gosh dang it. Oh no. I bet you, you know, I've been wondering ever since I started, I just haven't said it, why there's like a bump there. I think it's to get out. Because if not, there'd be just a solid uh, thing there. fine getting the gear on the down, not as early as the GPS, but it's fine because it's still a good gear. It's not as fast probably, but as long as the gear isn't bad, it's not horrible. 
As long as it's not bad, it's not bad, as I just said. <laughs> as long as the gear is good, it's a good gear. Crazy logic, I know, but... Just thought I'd point it out. Happens so early if I do it well. It's a new problem. If I do the turn well, I have the gear like going up the hill. Here earlier means you can be more on the inside of some of these turns, but it's not too bad. That zigzag scared me. Okay, that was bad. Okay. I made a mistake, unfortunately. What am I doing? I'm reversing back to my previous way. Cut the corner. It's free. Don't gear. Don't gear. Good. Sounds like my which sounds like an Xbox turning on. Oh, this is gonna be a good improvement, unfortunately, with that uh, little landing, it was gonna be bad. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Back into it. Maybe this small break has like unlocked something inside of me. Just do the god run. Not like that. Definitely not like that. Get this no steer is what I was going to say, or no, no slide. That was a good no slide. Okay, no, this <laughs> I just threw caution to the wind. Oh no. Yeah. That's probably why that little rounded section is there. Make it so that if you cut the corner like crazy, you're not ridiculously punished. You're only slightly punished. Ooh, you can like, you could maybe force the gear before you go up that hill. I don't know if it'd be good. You'd also have to like have some mad 
analog control or a steering wheel to manage that one. Okay, let's not. Let's not. Heard that Discord sound? That was mine. I use the Discord notification tone on my phone. I try to use it for just Discord notifications because you can't change the sound notifications on the on the Discord app unless you've been able to change that recently. I haven't tried, and so I had to set my default phone notification sound for the Discord notification sound, and so sometimes things other than Discord on my phone make a sound like Discord. Now what I don't know, I should check it now that I'm talking to you, is if I can change the sound of the Discord notification sound on Android. Maybe now you can, meaning that I don't have to have my global sound be the Discord notification sound. This is a very slight improvement, and I'm surprised that that's the case. Continuing. Oh no, this is wide. Yeah. Kind of thought that. I got it on the downhill, but I had the worst turn there. I started turning too early, and because of it, I had to stop and restart. It's unfortunate, because that was a good start. I want to check something that I've, that's been bothering me this whole time. They are connected. So if we put an extra block to make sure that they're connected, because... I believe that they're not connected normally. Yeah, there's a hole. I don't know, maybe they are. I didn't think they were connected normally. I thought that they uh, didn't connect all the way, but maybe they do. Not a great start, but... Okay. It's a really early gear. I think I figured out how to do it. Further experimentation is required. But let's do said further experimentation. Here we go. Okay, that makes sense. You just need to be wider for longer, basically. Now do this, but jump well. Okay, I didn't, but... Yeah. Can't, can't win them all. Maybe do it the second time better? That was much better. Gained point two from just the much better transition. So that's something. Try and get another one here. We've got a couple minutes left. Oh. Even though I'm behind, this is still good practice. Maybe I get a good transition here. That was not good. I want to be like right on the edge of clipping that corner because then I probably, then I likely don't get air. Darn it. Maximize it all. 
Maximize everything. The transition is actually very important. That little corner cut. It's actually surprisingly important. You can use it to carry so much speed. Very good there. Ooh, no. I touched some of the sand. No. I touched the sand. Of course I did. It could have been an improvement run. Oh, I got the gear. That's unfortunate. Why am I going to the right? In what world do I look at this track and go, oh, I should go to the right from the start? Oh my, that was close. You know, I may not be consistently at the same speed, but I seem to have the start pretty consistently. He says, don't talk about consistency if you want to crash immediately after talking about it. Don't gear, don't gear, don't gear. The gear was bad. As could be seen by the distinct speed loss. That a gear down provides. Stayed on the ground, but I think I also lose lot losed. Losed is a word. Lost speed. Okay, I was ready to give up. Thought I crashed. Okay, now I crashed. Whatever. Getting close to the end. See if I can pull something out pull a stop out or who knows find some time somewhere don't, don't touch the sand it's a pro tip from me to you don't get that air that's probably slow could definitely do that better and the crash in, is, is a way of me subconsciously telling myself that uh, I could do that better. Try again. I touched the wall. No. Okay. A little slow. The gear is tricky if you have if you decide to get it higher than normal and then you crash but it's fine oh no But the I did it so well that the gear happened really early. This is what I get for not doing the no slide at the start. It's very easy to get that gear there. Oh boy. Definitely don't want that. Well, it is looking like it's going to be the end for today. Um, I will see you all on Sunday. And we will attack whatever track happens to be the track of the day. Or the day. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. 
and I will see you all later. <laughs>